what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to talk about foundation okay so on our first topic we are going to learn how to add foundation wall okay so let's open up our exercise for that all right okay so before we go to the foundation wall let me just show you some of the tools that we will be we will be using in this exercise okay so the tool that we'll be using is uh, found here on our view control bar. So as the name suggests, the view control bar here control the visibility of your element in your current view. So like, for example, if you want to change the scale of your current view, you just need to change from here. Although you can also change it here from the view properties. Okay, so this is another way of changing your scale from the view control bar. And also, you can uh, change here the detail level. So as you can see currently, it's fine. So if I click that, if I select, let's say, course, you will see the changes here on our wall. Okay, the detail level not only affect your wall, but it, uh, it also affect your pipes, your docks, okay, your, your wall your cable tray, your conduit, okay? So that's how your detail, or those are the elements that your detail level affect. So if I change this to medium, there you go. So that's how it looks like. So it shows more detail of your elements. So let me just put it back again to find. Okay, and let's say you wanna change the visual style to shaded, so you can select shaded. So you'll be able to see the shaded view of your object or your elements or your project okay so this only applies on your current view if you go to the other view you will not be able to see these changes okay so they will be uh they will remain on their uh, default settings now let me just put it back again to hidden line so the tool that we will be using here is this one okay temporary hide isolate so as the name suggests this tool temporarily hide or isolate an element. Let's say, for example, for this one, I want to hide this grid, okay, temporarily. So I can select that, and then I can select temporary hide isolate. So I can select here isolate element or hide element. So if I select hide element, it will hide that element, right? And then you can see the cyan box here telling you that you are on the temporary hide isolate uh, tool okay if you want to go back to your normal view you can always click that again and then you can select reset temporary hide isolate there you go all right so let me just select again let me select again this tool so that is hide element now what is hide category so we're talking about here element and category so the element, if you select hide element, it will hide the selected element or elements in your project. Like for example, if I use a crossing selection like this from right to left, okay, if I select this one, so I can select hide element. Okay, so it will only hide the selected elements in your project. But if you are going to use the other, uh, tool here or option which is hide category it will not hide only this selected element but it will hide all the elements that has the same category like for example number two here if you check out it also uh, has the category of grids okay so number five that is also grid so that's how you check the category you just need to select the element okay like for example uh this Okay, this link, so as you can see, that is a category of Reddit link, right? So that's how you check what category is that particular element, okay? So if I click this one, oops, come on, all right. If I click that one, so as you can see, it says here grid, right? So that's a uh, grid. So if I'm going to click this one, all right, so let me just click that and then click this again. So you can hide the category. So not only the selected element, but all the element under the same category. Okay. So you can apply that to any elements, walls, dock, pipes, 
uh, ceiling, equipment, so all elements. All right. So let me just go back again to reset. Okay. Oops. There seems to be a problem with my with my video. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to do here is I do not want to see all the grids. That's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to let me just put it back again. I'm going to select the grids, click the grid, and then I'm going to hide it. Of course, you can also isolate it. Okay, isolate. It will isolate the selected element or the selected category. Like for example, isolate category. It will isolate all the grids. Okay. Right. Pretty useful, huh? So reset. Okay. So let me just select one of the grid and then hide it. Hide category. So I only want to see my model here. Okay, so now we are going to create a foundation wall. So to do that, you just need to go to structure. Click the drop down of wall. So you just select here wall structural. So you click that one. And then from the properties, click the drop down arrow. And then let's grab our foundation. Okay, this one. So let's use foundation 12 inches concrete so i'm going to select this one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to create another type of a family like for example i'm looking here for a foundation wall of uh, let's say one foot and uh, 10 inch or six inches okay so let's say i want to create here a foundation wall that is one foot and six inch concrete so as you can see i do not have it here so for me to be able to do that so i need to select a certain type of wall that where i am going to pattern that type you select any wall and then you select edit type so if you select edit type it will open the type properties okay so before you modify this so you need to duplicate so this is the way to create a new type of family so I just duplicate that. So let's say I will call this uh, one foot one foot uh, let's say six inches concrete. Example like that. Okay. And then I'll select here okay. So it will now create that type. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here edit because I want to change the width. Currently, the width here is only one foot. So I'm going to select here duplicate. Oh, sorry, not duplicate, but edit. Okay, so edit. And then let's change here the thickness. Let's change the thickness to six inches. All right. And then select here. Okay. And there you have it. Okay, so you just created a new type. So just select here, okay. Now, uh, for me to be able to place it, I'm going to select here a uh, peak lines. So my aim here is to place the foundation wall at the center line of the wall, the outline of this uh, building. Okay, so I'm going to select the peak lines. And then after that, as you can see here, so the location line is wall center line. So the depth here is 12 feet. Okay, so this is, that's the depth. So it's 12 feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, pick the center line for this one. Okay, so I'm going to select pick lines. Okay, and then I'm going to, wait, I want to hide the grid, sorry. Let me just modify first to terminate it. Let me just click the grid, right click, oh, sorry. Click the grid, hide category. Okay, there you go. So let me select now the structural wall and then look for the family that I just created. I'm going to select peak lines here. Location line is wall center line. So the depth is 12 feet and connected. So we can change that later on. So I'm going to pick the center line here. So I pick that one. There you go. See, there's one. So let me pick one here again. 
There you go. Click here. Okay, just click. Just click. 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 All right, and the last one, click. There you go. Okay, and then after that, select modify to terminate the tool or just or just escape a couple of times just like that okay now if I go to the 3d view there you have it there you go see that's now the foundation wall okay so as you can see the thickness of that is 12 feet of course you can always modify that so if you want to modify the height of your foundation wall so you just need to select that and then you just need to modify from here okay so let's say for example i want to change the thickness or the height of my foundation wall here so i can hover my pointer just hover your pointer like that and then you can press tab once do not hold the tab just press once and then tap again there you go so it will highlight the connection and then you can click to select all the connections so after that you can now change from here so like for example uh, you want that uh, minus six feet enter so you will notice it will now change there you go okay so it's up to you so i'm just showing you how to do it okay so basically that's how you create your foundation wall so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Our next topic is about wall footings. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a nice day.